Hello, hello, hello. Um, this is your boy coming at you with a video that's quite different this time around. Um, normally, I'll bring you some news or some breaking news of what's going on within the Eagles organization or what's going on around the world for that matter. But now, the video is quite different. Um, I'm quite sure you all are quite aware of what happened earlier today. Kobe Bryant, uh, one, of, one of basketball's all-time greats. Um, Hall of Famer, from what I've been told, that this year he will be number. Well, he's probably, he will be going to the Hall of Fame this year. So it's a shame that his family is going to suffer a great loss with this because this guy had um three children, three girls. You know what I'm saying? And um, and from what I seen, when I seen in one of the pictures, he was infecting the fourth child from his wife. So he actually got he got one grown child which is 16 one just turned well one grown child 16 turned 17 sometime this year and then you got one child who's 13 the one who passed name is gianna they said they call her gg she died today along with kobe bryant in, in, in this helicopter along with nine along with seven other people you know what i'm saying so let me get that correct nine all together Kobe Bryant and then go to make two, so that's seven. Seven, eight, nine. Nine all together. Kobe Bryant make the make the other two. Part of that nine. And um my heart goes out to Kobe Bryant's family, his mom and dad, um, his siblings, if he got any, his friends, um, the entire basketball world who had a chance to meet Kobe Bryant from his young stage when he came out of high school to the um, NBA where he achieved greatness. The guy has five super five championship rings. The last ring he won was 2008 when he beat the, um, I think the San Antonio Spurs is what I want to say, or I think it was the Celtics. They, yeah, they beat the Celtics back, back in 09 for the um, NBA, for his final NBA championship. You know what I'm saying? He had scored 60 points in one game, which is an NBA record, and he also scored 84 points, which is also another NBA record. So those two records are right behind Wilt Chamberlain for 100 points scored in one game. So um, I mean, this I mean, this is a great loss to the entire entire world. You know what I'm saying? The guy who who been all over the world for that matter, play basketball in the um. In the Olympics, you know what I'm saying? Back to back Olympics. Uh, what was that? I think 2004, I think. I think he played, I don't know, 2000 and, was 2000 and 2004. So he had um, back to back playing in those um, arrows. Actually, the early 2000, 2000, 2004, uh, the year he, he played uh, over the overseas in the Olympics, you know what I'm saying? So he has, uh, yeah, he has two gold medals, actually. So you say he has two gold medals. To that um, to that uh, uh, um, repertoire, if, if you will, and so, um, like I said, I'm not a Lakers fan, but I was able to watch and enjoy some of the things that Kobe has done in his career, where he has been a dominant one. Well, he actually was one of the most dominant shooting guards in the NBA, and um. Uh, for this to happen, for this trick to happen, where he crashed into a helicopter, crashed in a helicopter, they saying plane, but it was actually was a helicopter because they said that he was leaving Philadelphia. I thought, I thought, it was, I thought it was L.A., but they said he was leaving. He left Philadelphia and um, was going to L.A., where his um, daughter um, is a basketball star in her high school, and. Um, High school, yeah, in a high school, and um, it's a it, it's a tragic. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not really much I really can say about them because I'm, I'm I'm totally lost for words. You know what I'm saying? And um, I've also written on Facebook that I encourage everybody to watch the Grammy Awards because the Grammy Awards was actually going to be dedicated to one guy and, and that Nipsey Hussle, but I'm quite sure you all know who Nipsey Hussle is—a guy who was shot cold blood. In his um town of Crenshaw, um L.A., and so that show, the Grammy show, was probably dedicated to him. But after what happened today with Kobe Bryant, 
now Kobe Bryant and this other book will be set up will be celebrated together on the Grammys. So I, I guarantee you, I, so I encourage every one of you all to watch the NBA. I mean, I mean to watch the um, Grammys today because it already started now. And Alicia Keys says say, say some great things about Kobe Bryant. And um, if you guys remember Lizzo, I like Lizzo. And she's actually a heavy set, fine, fine heavy set chick. She performed and she did her show dedicated to Kobe Bryant. So this whole show today is going to be dedicated to Kobe Bryant in general. So like I said before, I encourage you all, all of y'all, to watch the um, Grammy tonight because the show is going to be dedicated to Kobe Bryant. And the guy has to cheat a lot. Um, matter of fact, let me put you all on, some, on, 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 a few, on a point right quick. Yesterday or day before, LeBron James has passed Kobe Bryant's 33,000 points um, all time. So, so he's right now third all time behind two other guys who have Carl Malone and uh, I think Will Chamberlain for, for the most points scored in throughout their careers. So LeBron James, I'm quite sure, and probably Broken Hearted too because they also said that he met Kobe Bryant when he was in high school. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe Bryant gave him a pair of his shoes. And he said LeBron wore those shoes even though they were a size too big for his foot. He wore them because he met Kobe Bryant for the first time in his career. And they were showing, showing, showing some highlights where Kobe Bryant and LeBron James became friends and they were very close. So, I mean, I can sit here and talk all day about what has happened today. But you guys got the picture all over Facebook. I done posted a, a lot of images of Kobe Bryant, things that he had said, he had done, and what people have said about him throughout the country and throughout this world. So, once again, I love each and every last one of y'all out there. I hope you watch the Grammys tonight. Peace. One love.